philosophy of physics, by the way, has actually contributed to physics, and not in some hand-wavy manner like it makes you think deep, man, but in concrete, citable contributions. For example, the whole argument, H-O-L-E, is used in loop quantum gravity to critique string theory, and then there's these covariance principles by Norton, which is one of his most cited papers in a physics journal, and then there's that Landauer's principle critique, which is what this podcast is about, which forced its proponents to actually think through their arguments instead of just assuming that information equals physical, like some anagogic incantation. Emily Adlam and Jacob Berendes outlined several cases such as decoherence and Bell's theorem and more where philosophers of physics directly aided vanilla physics. I would stack that list of contributions up against many contemporary research areas in physics. It was done in large part by people who had other official jobs or who suffered significant career ramifications for working on on ideas that were considered too philosophical for mainstream physics. If anyone is thinking about like how to make the biggest bang for your buck in terms of making contributions to physics, I would argue that we need to invest more in philosophy of physics. 